Hi everyone, Kema here. I'm back. Sorry I did not post videos yesterday. I kind of fell asleep at like 8 something, woke back up at 10 and everything because I was tired and everything yesterday going back to school. And also because it sometimes happens where I fall asleep in my room watching a video or something. But anyways, I kind of want to do this first video as kind of the stuff I got for Christmas or some of the things that I've been bought for Christmas and so for just to show off a couple things. Um, ending for sure though will be these pictures I took them last year and everything but I do have something to say about them and everything and I will show them at the ending. But first, let's start off with this Christmas gift. Thing or whatever I don't know um I like to keep my stuff in different containers almost all the time so I have this one as it's on my nightstand it's where I put it it's empty right now because I emptied stuff out but I usually put stuff I wear like quite a bit in here like if I wear it on like a daily or something or I'll wear it more than once this one is it still has some stuff in it but those stuff are not really stuff I got for Christmas they're more of just stuff I collect but this one I more off will put on my desk or inside my desk or inside the box that's on my desk and I put that one put stuff in here that are more off like I won't wear them as much but I'll at least wear them at least at one point I know for sure or I've already worn them and I really don't know what else to wear them with kind of Okay, I got quite a bit of Harry Potter stuff and the only ones I might wear the most are like the bracelets, one necklace and other stuff. So. But anyways, this one I didn't get for Christmas, but I've already had it. It is my one necklace and it says courage and it has the Gryffindor symbol. And the reason why Gryffindor is because I've taken the quiz and everything for what house you are and I'm a Gryffindor because I do, I do love adventure and everything and so that one kind of makes sense. But also one of my friends from last year said I'm like a mix of Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. I'm like, you know what, I'd rather take the test just to know for sure because I didn't think I was really Hufflepuff. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even one bit of Hufflepuff. It said if I were to be something else, it would be Ravenclaw. <laughs> um, these are not stuff I, these are also not stuff I really got for Christmas. But these are things I, like, kind of built on. Like, this is a necklace right here. It, Basically, you connect it like this instead of one of the clip-on ones. But it's basically, it has a heart and then it has an arrow. And the arrow is a heart as well. I don't really like hearts, but I do like this one. Because it's not like a normal necklace with the charms. But then I also put two charms on it. Because I really love tassel charms. And then I also put this one. It was an earring and everything, but because of the fact that I never wore the earring, it came on, and I can't wear earrings anymore, and my hair is just, it's sticking up. Yeah, I got a haircut, if you guys cannot tell. I'm very happy of it. Um, the picture I had, though, it was literal what would be a fairy boy, if any of you know what a fairy boy is. <laughs> But it what the hairstyle was kind of more of like a fairy boy and everything. Not not that the person was dressed with one. It's just the hairstyle was really curly and it was really short and fairy boyish. Uh, it's like me, no. <laughs> but I got that haircut and I'm actually really surprised that both my parents actually like it. They didn't really say anything bad about it, and so. I do have a styling cream though as well for my hair, but I also kind of have to wet my hair in the morning. If I don't fully wet my hair, it's like, it's sometimes fine. But if it's like this part, it's like sticking up right now. But if it's like really where all of this, 
all my back is like up and stuff, I will have to wet it or it's like if pieces are sticking out, I, I will wet it and everything. So, but I do really like this haircut. Um, <laughs> I'm happy with it. I, I was gonna go for this side being shaved and this one not being shaved, but then it's like, I saw that picture of that hair and I right away liked it. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go with them was originally gonna go with I'm gonna go with this and happy with my choice but I like this necklace even though like I said I don't normally like hearts but I've had this one for a bit and I modified it myself <laughs> I have these they came off of something and I think I don't really know what but I really want to make um, something with them for me and one of my friends. So I got my ear cuffs, two of them. Um, if any of you have my TikTok or seen my TikTok, I made, well, one of the first few videos I had was basically there is this one trend going on where it was like the shoe kick, but instead of doing shoes, you know, I have a whole lot of shoes and boots and everything. But instead of them, I did um, the ear cuffs I made. And this is only two of them. I did give a few of them away. But I have kept a couple, but not all of them fit in the little container I have. Um, any of you that were my friend, my best friends last year, I might have given you a charm that looks like this on something and basically these were for all my best friends and stuff and I hope that the people I did give this to I hope you guys kept them because they weren't just random they actually do mean something I of course have this thing from someone that, from last year as well she is one of my best friends even if she's older than me, which she's a senior this year. But very proud of her and everything. I am a little bit upset with what my cousin did though to her. A little bit upset they broke up. I was really upset about that. And I did not like that because I thought they were cute together. But of course, my cousin, me and my cousin is an idiot sometimes. And don't take that offense, <laughs> Cause I know she's gonna watch this. Don't take that offensive. It's just sometimes you can be an idiot and you do stuff that you will probably later on regret. Um, I also have a few stones. See, this is this is the hard thing. Um, this, these two, I got from the trip this year. Um, Puzzle Islands. Like I said, I was not able to record. I was so sad about that. My dad did not want to work, but I was so it's like I was out on the lake. Probably not gonna work so well. I was hoping it would. But I found these two uh, on the shoreline of Lake Superior and everything. Um, if any of you know what this is, and if you don't, I will tell you right now, it is basically what dried up lava looks like. Because, yeah. And the reason why I can tell that is because in 8th grade we had a stone like this. It was a bigger one. But the reason why you're able to tell it is that is because it's really light. And it's like it has no weight at all. So, and this one is... I'm still kind of unsure. I really do think it's quartz. But it's between rose quartz and quartz. It's one of the two. And I don't know what this is. But this is from my great grandma. It came with a couple other stones that I no longer have. Because my mom used them. So. But. I just wanted to show those to you guys. Now back on to the Christmas presents. Um. I got quite a bit of Harry Potter necklaces, that's for, sh for sure. Um, I got this one. And if any of you know 
the series, of course, you know Gryffindors wear the red and yellow tie. It is called. And the person who has this wand right here is, of course, the main character, Harry Potter himself. Uh, my mom, she got the necklace at, probably at Hot Topic, because that's where the other one came from. <laughs> so most likely Hot Topic, but she, of course, found this one and said she thought I'd like it, and of course I do. I love, like, almost anything Harry Potter. <laughs> I have to be careful with them because I do know that uh, strands do love to tangle everything, but I do also know how to untangle them. Uh, I have this one as well. You cannot really read what's on the thing, but it says mischief manage, which is basically what the characters, of course, say using the Madreya's map and everything. Um, yeah, these ones go in the pink case, of course, because I won't wear them much. I will wear them at some point, but just not going to really wear them much. I have three bracelets. They all have Deathly Hollows somewhere on them, but that's, this is the Deathly Hollow symbol. This one is the chain off. This one is big on me, though, so if any of you are watching that go too fondy, uh, no, I was talking about a bracelet that was big on me. This is the one. And so I probably won't wear this one much. I will wear it at some point, but it's just not much really. I got this keychain. Um, it's not Harry Potter, but this is from my grandma. She got me this one as well, cause she knows I love Paris and everything. This one though has the time. Uh, if you can read the time, it says nine. 925 <laughs> but um my dad he of course he it didn't have a working battery and everything so he of course took off the little screws that are right here and right here and these are the buttons that you use to control it and everything but basically took it apart and put a battery in a newer one that worked and put it back which right now it's actually kind of one of the screws is kind of loose so I was bringing it to school on my purse but now I'm not because I'm afraid that the screw that's loose will fall out and I'm I will lose it and I really don't want to so I'm keeping this one here and I'm keeping it right next to my actual clock box I have another thing another keychain and not really Christmas Christmas, but I did get it from someone technically out of a Christmas Christmas. And I really love her. And I wish this person was watching because I don't know if he will. But he's one of the foreign exchange students we have at school. And we have a couple of different, but he's one of the Thai ones. Oh, he's from Thailand, but not like me, a little elephant. And it's so adorable, and I really love it. <laughs> I really do love this thing. Um, this one I also put on my keychain with my keys. My, well, my bike keys and uh, my house key. So. But yeah, I really do love this thing and it's really adorable so <laughs> i will only say this guy's french name because i also know his like his nickname that he goes by because he has a really long name that you can't even remember but this is from teo that's his french name because i have him in my french class and my French name in the class is Claire, even though I would have loved to choose a guy name, but of course I couldn't because I got the girl list. <laughs> Wishing I could have chose a guy name just to confuse everyone. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Put this back.
to go more into Harry Potter, I got this necklace. This will be a more common necklace for me. It is the Deathly Hollow symbol, but then it has most likely a fake diamond in it, but it has like a diamond in the circle and everything. I thought it was really cool. Really happy with that one. This is actually what I wore today. It was sticking kind of into my skin, this right here, but more Deathly Hollows. It's also leather, so it could be fake leather. I don't really know. <laughs> Everything, but I wore this today. Really liked it, and everything, because I could tighten it and I could loosen it. It is a little bit hard loosening it on your hand and everything, but still, I could do that stuff. Um, I also have this one, which says "I solemnly swear," which goes off the saying "I solemnly swear that I am up to no good." And like I said, Deathly Hollows, it is a smaller one, and it's on the little ends that you pull to tighten it or loosen it. And that is it of the Harry Potter. Now on to other bracelets and rings and other stuff. Um, for other bracelets, I got this one. I got four bracelets, but I gave the heart one to my friend and everything. But I got this bracelet, which actually looks like it has my birthstone on it, which is, of course, aquamarine. Because these look blue, not sapphire blue, more of aquamarine blue. But also, it looks like aquamarine topaz blue as well. And I know what that looks like for sure because i do still have a ring that has those but paris of course i have my, my necklace i have this i have the keychain i have another keychain but that one broke meaning i can't make it into a keychain anymore i could use it for like a craft or something though which would be fun i have this one which just has a bead on it that has marbling effect in it it's like clear but then it has like strands that are like blurry and everything but like that one as well uh this one i'm kind of eh about only because i don't wear much but just have beads but basically it's like somewhat pinkish like a pale pink not pastel Pink, but just really pale pink and then gold beads. And then I got these myself with, like I said, that gift card that I got. Oh, except for this. This is just a ring, once again, from my grandma. I didn't get it for Christmas, so I've had that one for like a few years now. I haven't worn it much, though, because that one, that digs into my skin as well. But I got these rings, this one, Sarah, two crescent moons, crescent moon and turquoise stone, two arrows crossing turquoise stone, and two crescent moons and a turquoise stone. Um, I really like these rings, mostly because of the three that have the turquoise stone. Um, and for those of you that actually know me, but also family members are watching We Are Cherokee. And of course, I somewhat believe in some of the Cherokee stuff. And I, of course, believe in the one thing that um, turquoise stones are purity, but also protection. Um, because I couldn't wear any turquoise on me for years and stuff. I was like, I was, I have anxiety and everything at different points. Um, Usually when I wear like a necklace or a bracelet, I'm always playing around with it. Same with rings, because I did have rings back then that I wore a few times here and there. That I would always fidget with, with which is why some things would break, of course. 
basically like a beaded bracelet or my one beaded ring that my mom made. I fidgeted, fidgeted with them too much that they broke. And so, yeah. But I need something that I can like kind of sort of play with like on my neck finger or wrist and everything just so that I have something that just kind of helps. Same with music. I, I usually need music because it helps as well with my anxiety and my anxiety can get really bad. I've only had one anxiety attack though. Uh, that was when I was in third grade but I was also sick at the same time so what happened could have been the fact of mostly being sick, but it was also the fact that, of course, everyone's attention was on me. I had a teacher yelling at me, and I just... Yeah, it was not fun, but... I got these rings, and I'm really happy with them. I've already worn at least four of them. And everything, but... I did give one away, of course, only because that one was still kind of big even if I had it on my middle finger it was still kind of big but also it dinged into my skin right here <laughs> and I was like and um, the only reason why I was wearing it on my middle finger is because I couldn't put it on this one because otherwise it was like it was loose where to to where it would fall off um I also have these these are from a cousin of mine I'm really I still have them, and I still really love them. Well, actually, the ones from my weirdo brother. Uh, but um, still, um, this one's from my cousin, though. Um, haven't seen her since probably um, last summer and stuff. So, kind of sad. I missed her and everything. But she gave us... She gave all family members, except for, like, of course, the adults, um, but basically us, like, younger ones, even, like, um, I think some of the older ones, like, the teenagers, because I wasn't a, I wasn't a teenager when I got this, I was probably, like, nine or so, but she gave us all of these little ninjas, and I still keep them, I keep these two, though, because light, dark because they stand for light and dark well probably not really the symbols on them but the little drawings on the back do so that's why I keep those and I still like having them around and that's it for jewelry of course last Christmas thing I got have not tested it out though on my PS4 really should though at some point probably will do that during the weekend <laughs> BTS CD It's basically Japanese version of Mic Drop, Japanese version of DNA, Crystal Snow, and then um it also comes with a DVD which is the making of the musical for Mic Drop Japanese version and uh, making of jacket photos. For those of you that love the jacket photos. But Really want to test this out probably during the weekend so that I can see if it works because otherwise if it doesn't work I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be like, no. <laughs> um, last part. This last part is a little bit emotional for me. Only because. And I'm going to try and start with the first here. <laughs> the first photo. Of course, I took, um, it's me and my cousin, um, I know I'm no longer at Lamara, but I hope everyone at Lamara is happy where they are, I hope they're all doing well, especially the ones I can't really talk to, especially this person right here. I don't know if she will talk to me or not. I haven't 
even try talking to her. <sighs> um, she's very important because she's she's one of the people that is like a sister, even if she is year older than me, even if she is my brother's ex now, which really, really freaking upsets me with what he did. All right. Sorry, but I'm calling BS on my brother with what he told me because um, the thing he told me is he's this poly thing and not polysexual, it's something else and everything. Basically, where you date more than one person at the same time. Well, most people that are this thing and everything, they usually would tell the person that, hey, I'm this, um, is it okay that? I date you, but I also date someone else at the same time. Like, that's what most would do. My brother, he didn't even do this one bit. He just, he straight away started dating another person. And it really freaking upsetted me. And it's like, yeah, you, you just made probably the biggest mistake of your life because this person, she is an amazing person. I love her like a sister and everything. And um, my brother just really freaking upset me with this during Christmas. But also, he was not supposed to be our Christmas thing. And he got gifts from people that I do not want to talk to at all. I don't want to see them. I don't want to talk to them. And there's no way he's going to trick me into speaking or talking to them. Because I'm... I am upset with what happened. I don't like what happened to me. And if they even try saying that me or my mom was lying about what happened to me, I'm right away just not even dare fucking talking to him. Sorry for swearing. That's how upset I am though. But I, like I said, I don't know how it would be talking to her. I really would like to. And um, I right away, right away want her to know that, hey, I am on your side. I choose you over my own brother because of how stupid he is. Um, sorry. Um, anyways, this is the next photo. It's me and my two friends. Um, the one was my best friend and everything. I... Still kind of friends with her and everything. I haven't talked to her in a bit, though. Neither have I talked to the other person um, since... Um, before the first day of our of on the lack and everything. Basically, the Myra started a day earlier, earlier than Fondelac and stuff, so... But that was the last time I talked to this girl. The one in the plaid, the other one, he used to be my best friend, but I haven't talked to them in quite a bit. I hope they're doing good. Um, actually, no, last time I talked to the one was actually musical. Sorry, incorrect. She literally attacked me. <laughs> she attacked me from behind. I think. I didn't get to talk to her much though, because I started talking to this person, but that was of course before my brother and her broke up, but I, I miss these people quite a bit, and um, they're, they're all like family to me, and so that's why I kind of want to go over these but also if there's anyone from the matter watching my videos I want them to see this and to at least show the people in choir um I have this picture of me and two other friends the one of them was a really cool person I may have not talked to her much Okay, the one in plaid as well, shorts, blonde hair, of course. I didn't talk to her much, but she's still a pretty cool person. <laughs> and everything. And I had a fun time, even if I didn't talk to her much, I still had a fun time when I did talk to her. 
the other person that I talk to quite a bit, actually, even sometimes during the hard times of the month, <laughs> she would basically give me chocolate and try to help and everything, even if I still left it during the day, she would still at least try to help me. I don't care that my battery's at 15%. I have this photo. The one in the middle is the one that I got that ring from. The other one is kind of, she's not really a friend friend and everything, especially because of how she acted towards me during ending of the year. But I still hope she she's doing fine, um, especially because of how her situation was and everything. But also because I don't hate her. Even if most people would think right away I would hate someone just because they were kind of rude to me, I kind of won't. The only way you can actually get me to hate someone is if they're actually making fun of me for certain things like sexuality, my gender, and other stuff kind of like that, or even my history, like my past. And she didn't make fun of any of those. Actually, she more of accepted me with that. It's just sometimes working in class, she was kind of rude or she didn't do anything and I kind of had to do all the work and that was upsetting but like I said it didn't make me hate her <sighs> um this next person <coughs> she's not really my my dad but I of course called her father because we had acquired this functional family and this right here is my father <laughs> Um, I won't say her, her name either. She's quite cool though. I love hanging out with her. Um, I sometimes was not able to talk to her that much so, especially because sometimes it seemed like she was annoyed with me. But it could have also just been she was not having a good day. But quite a dysfunctional family. She was my father and everything. And it was kind of fun. And I had to have a good time last year in choir class because of her. Mostly because of all the other people that I had pictures of. And a few others that I was not able to take pictures with. And then this last one. Um, she's related to the girl that used to be my best friend. Okay, the third picture, one with the blue hoodie, well, bluish purple, but they're related, they're cousins, but, um, this person, she graduated last year, and I wanted to get a picture with her and the other person that graduated, but of course, I couldn't get the other person. Sad about that. Especially because I liked both of them, they're really cool. You know, I thought the one hated me because I couldn't even talk to her without feeling, like, without feeling like she didn't like me or that she was annoyed with me. But, of course, she straight out told me she didn't like me, of course, in the yearbook I got last year. She wrote to me and everything. She said that she loved me and not, not in the gay way. You know I am gay, <laughs> pansexual technically, but not in that way, more of like friends, like kind of like family, because for us, choir was a family, but this person right here, this was even at her graduation party, which was basically after graduation, but um, she was very cool as well. I couldn't talk to her much either, but she said I was doing great and everything, and um, I don't think she knew that I was leaving, because in the note it didn't seem like she knew that I was leaving, even though quite a bit of these people did know that I was going to be leaving, and they were all pretty sad about it. 
I'm kind of sad about it as well, but I'm also very happy that I did leave because I had a, I had one of the worst times at, at Lamira. It's hard not to cry, which I am crying, kind of, because all these people are really nice people, and I, I do miss quite a bit of them. One of them I did get to see, aka this weird white here, I got to see her, of course, during Christmas. But still, I of course miss all of them because they're all really cool people. <laughs> um. I really am a little bit sad about reading some of these out, but I will read a few of them at least. Because they're from some of the best people I could ever have of friends. And of course, some of them are even just signatures, like the first page is mostly. Mostly, um, of course, randomness, except for a couple or, or literal weird stuff. Of course, this way, I have to get something to lift this up, kind of. They work together. Oof. Yeah, that's kind of why I use the one thing. Of course, that one thing is out in the living room. kind of works. Not as good as I'd want or as I'd like, but better than nothing. But yeah, quite a bit bit of it is for like memes basically. Of course, the person who I was talking about, the one I can't really talk to because I don't know how she'll be. Her thing from last year, what she wrote in my thing was, I'm gonna miss you, mighty midget. Her and my brother both basically call me midget, except for my brother doesn't call me that anymore. Of course, because I get more off upset at him, not her. Um, when the other people said have a good summer, good luck at, ne at a new school next year. Same with the other person. Of course, like I said, my father wrote meme dad. A meme, because she's a living meme. Of course, I got... Of course, you're not. Pro you're probably not going to be able to read it, but the one with that little face right there is my my other best friend. I got both of them. <laughs> of course, what he wrote is basically I love to watch or read fan fiction, and of course, not 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 like. Basically, not smut. <laughs> If you know what that means, or basically stuff that is not 18 and up, or like 
fighting one and up because I will not watch that stuff. But we were making jokes and everything during world history. It was hilarious. And we were both talking about um, one of the members of NCT and how in my fan fiction that I created, which is not really bad, it's actually more of like a comedy so far. Somewhat a mystery though as well. But um, I have this basically Taeyeon from NCT. I have him in my fan fiction that I wrote. Um, this person, my other best friend, the guy, would kept on just bringing up. There should be a fan fiction called Fifty Shades of Ty, and he wasn't—he wasn't trying to be like that, like the movie. He was more well, just trying to make a joke and everything. But also because there's already like a fan fiction called Fifty Shades of Jimmy's Heart. I have not watched that. I probably will not. <laughs> But he was making a joke on that and everything that's hilarious. Of course, other the other ones are I hope you have but fun at your new school. I miss you so much. Uh, Chris, this person. Thanks for being a great human being. Keep being yourself and don't let anyone bring you down. Have have fun and lots of it. Oh well. But most importantly, good luck with the transition. Of course, this person. Hey, it's your grill. <laughs> your grill. Hey, you're with your grill. That's the one girl with. I've already read the other person, so that's the one with. with right there, blonde hair. She loves being hilarious. Um, um, hey Kaylee, your positivity always makes me, makes my day. Don't be a stranger and keep smiling. That's um, of course that awesome person. I didn't get to take a picture with her though. Kaylee lo loves me. I've known you since second grade and the long road has been great. Hope you come back to visit us in Lamira. This was of course um he actually got it wrong this person. We've known each other since third grade actually. I told him that after we ended up in, in the class that me and him had together. He's of course dating well, I hope they're still dating, but uh, dating this person right here, Pad, other Pad person. <laughs> I don't like saying names, so that's kind of why I'm gonna just say the other person. <laughs> but those who are dating, I think still. But he, he, I told him after he wrote that, and after I read it, like we did. I, I've known you since third grade. He's like, oh. So that was an oof. Yeah, this person tried to be funny. Of course, I won't do this though, but this person ha said, have a great summer and don't do drugs. Hey. I'm not gonna do, do drugs, that's, that's it for sure. But this person, I talked to him quite a bit throughout the year. He would sometimes even come to choir room just to eat, talk to some of us. And of course, I have some from people I don't like that much. You know, they, but some of them were like, well, actually, this girl right here, um, can't read her thing. Uh, one of the twins, so female twins at Lamira, um, um, in eighth grade they're both kind of eh. I didn't have. They weren't really mean to me, but then it's like last year freshman year, um, the 
the one that did not write to me in this, um, she was kind of rude, especially homecoming, because one of the activities we did was tug of war, and it was basically a big rope, and you had like a group of guys group against a group of girls, or you had like two different grades against each other, and basically the two rounds that we did for that, for freshman growth against guys, I tried for both and I could not do either and I, I was really upset about it because especially what people were saying, well, except for the guys, there was actually most of the girls that were saying, you can't do that, you're too weak, you're too skinny, saying, of course, rude, hateful stuff. There's like only like a few that knew I was actually kind of strong and there was a few trying to get me to come up. So, like the first time I went up, of course, got pushed out of the way. And so far I'm like, you know what, that's fine, I'll just go up the second time. Second time, I also couldn't because, um, you know what, this person does not even watch my freaking videos. I'll say her name, Kylie King. Kylie King is her name. I don't care, I'm saying someone's name. That's only because she does not watch my videos. She hates my guts. Does not care one bit for me. So, you know what, I'm going to say her name. Kylie King and the other twin of this girl that wrote, not the one that wrote, but the other one that did basically both, of course, picked me out, like not actually picked, picked, but they said that I was not going to be doing tug of war, and that's when the rude comments started where I'm too weak, mostly because of Kylie King, and of course the other girl was just very rude and saying they already had someone coming up when Kylie, when a different Kylie, I'm sorry, we, ha we had two different Kylies in our grade, but the other Kylie, she was actually trying to be nice, because Kylie King was rude as hell. The other one, though, she was trying to be nice and everything, because she was up the first time as well, but of course it didn't matter if you were up the first time, you could go again and everything, but she was trying to get me to go up, and I was about to, but then they had someone else come out, and I of course couldn't, and I got upset about it. Of course, I straight away went to the one person that I could, this person right here, of course, because I always go to her. If I'm having a bad time and everything, I always go to her, because she's my cousin, of course. Yes, I can hate her sometimes, I can say rude stuff, but we always do it when it comes to family, but I do love her, and I would always come to her when it came to bad times like that or all those stuff, but I straight away went to her, and of course, me being me, I can sometimes just be overly sensitive, or my anxiety starts back up, or overheat, and I, of course, start tearing up and crying, and it's not really helpful. But, yeah, I straight away went to her, and I was, of course, crying, because I was upset that, of course, I got kicked off. Well, the only other person that went to me was trying to say sorry and everything was the person that wrote. <laughs> Which is why I said Shaw is awesome. <laughs> and of course, that's this person's name. I'm sorry for saying your name, Shauna. But it's also this twin's name. I think her name. Their names are spelled differently, but they're, they have the same name, basically. I said Shauna, you're awesome. And of course, like, I guess I made a joke. Shauna's are always awesome. But she was basically saying sorry and everything to me, even though she wasn't the one that kicked me off. She, she was sorry though for what happened. But what she said was, hey, hope you have an awesome summer going to miss you girl. Like, I hope you're watching. Uh, I miss you too. You were probably the awesome twin for me because you were actually nice on like the other one. Of course, I have these ones. I'm not going to really read these. Of course, because this one right here kind of can't. Because it's a little bit more personal. But then I have these ones. 
but she didn't know how to spell my name, this person. So she basically just said, K is my name. Uh, it's usually a family nickname, but I said she could use it. Even though she didn't call me it, but she, I was fine with her writing it. But she said, K, you were such a delight to have, and you are you're always so positive and have such a kind heart and sure to be. And of course, at her graduation party, I sang, and have a good summer, that's what she said. Which is why I said I don't think she knew I was leaving. Um, this is the other person who I wanted to get a picture with, but couldn't, but... This person, of course, said, I know I probably made you mad a couple times, but you're a good person. And, of course, the I want the heart on you. So, yeah. I don't remember who that was. <laughs> it was just, so uh, have a good summer, stay safe, make good choices. I don't remember who that was. I don't know if that was a teacher or something. Because, of course... These are my teacher ones with the sharpie while I had everyone else use pens, but from, I'm fine with saying teacher names, but from Mrs. Wilkie, she said, you simply have the biggest heart. I love watching you grow and am envious of your passion for reading. I hope you continue to find joy in characters for always promise you. Yeah, <laughs> of course I had problems in that class, so I got basically we kicked out of Sarah's English, but that was one of my teachers. Uh, she was the one that actually got me books to read because I couldn't get the books myself, and I usually sometimes read quickly. You know, I am still not finished one book from last year, and I'm upset with myself that I haven't. But of course, in English class this year, we have read. Two stories so far, well technically three, because other ones were poems, but I'm not counting those ones, for sorry. But we've read, um, no, it's Frederick, I think, Frederick Douglass, Frederick Douglass, so I hope some of you know who this is, but former slave, basically, he was a writer, and we read his, the one, a part of a book of his or something, basically his fight with his owner, I forget the name of his owner, I really don't care for the owner, but we read that in English class and we used it for one of our essay questions that we did for one of our first couple of tests. And um, we read Raisin in the Sun, we've also read The Crucible, and we've read uh, some Greek myths. So, um, this is from Mrs. Kep's art. She was my art teacher, but it was wonderful having you in class this semester. You have a fantastic personality, and I hope you take more art classes. Have a great summer. Keep painting. I told this one that she, I was leaving, of course, so she knew I was leaving, but yeah. Mr. Meyer, my world history teacher, have a great summer, Kimmy, and best wishes. Um, Mr. Walter, I did not have him for any of my classes last year. I did have him in eighth grade and seventh grade, though, so that's why I kind of had him, but best wish. Kaylee and best wish, and I'm sorry to hear of you leaving so funny. Hi, good luck, and have a great summer. Um, Mr. Vanderhash, of course, the choir singer, said, Kaylee, I hate singing. I am singing, Mr. Vanderhash. I am singing. You can ask Shauna, but I'm in a female choir, and I wish I wasn't, kind of. Like, I kind of wish I do, because the girls are really nice, or at least a few of them are really nice, some of them are kind of not. Not gonna, of course, say any names or anything, but a few of the people I'm by, I do get annoyed with. Uh, and also, some of them, of course, make Indian noises just to make fun of Indians. Also, about that. But there are a few of them that are really nice and everything. And I have at least two of them in my friend group that I hang out with during the morning. So, um, 
Mrs. White, um, she, she was my companion up, but she said, have a fantastic summer. Good luck to you at Fondy High. It was a pleasure having you in Compare Up. Um, this is Miss Salkowski. Of course, this is the teacher that probably misses me the most at Namira. I had her in physical science, and I did sometimes hang out in her classroom for lunch. Not a whole lot, only a couple of times here and there, and that's only because I couldn't hang out that much in her class. And I think having choir on different days and stuff. Only time I really could was probably like Thursdays because block scheduling and on Thursdays I didn't have choir one bit. So yeah, but she said, Kaylee Ann, it was great having you in class this year. I really appreciated your hard work and artistic ability. And I'm sad to hear you won't be here next year. Have a great summer and enjoy Fondy. Sincerely, Miss Salkowski. Like I said, she's probably the only teacher that actually misses me though at Samira. Um, that was at least the only ones I was gonna read, but yeah. But I wanted to do this video to just kind of show off what I got. Not really like be like a show off show off, but to show you guys what I got for Christmas. But also, I finally wanted to share these pictures, of course, because I'm unsure if anyone from the Miles who watches my videos. I think this weirdo right here still watches them. I hope she does, especially because she still wants to do a collab, but I don't know when that would be. Probably during the summertime, though, if you can. Probably not, because I know you go up to Michigan during the summertime. But, otherwise, I really don't know, unless probably like spring break or my birthday or something. So, but I wanted to share these. Um, I will, of course, be putting the, I won't have them in a photo album because they'll be kind of fake to put in one. But I will probably put, like, um... You know how some people have those like those clip things like um they have like wire or like string and they have it hung up on like their wall or somewhere else and they basically have like clothes clips but like smaller and stuff basically i want to get more of those so that i can hang these on those but also to hang up other pictures and everything so bye bye this first video bye <laughs>